Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia, Spain. We are here in nature, but nature is a clown. It has many faces. It has a winter face, and a summer face, and an autumn face, and a spring face. And we have to get used to all those faces. Here we are now in autumn, and we had some rain after the drought. I'm here in the infiltration system. Are you posing, Luna? Good. This is one ventilation entrance to a Moorish design infiltration system. Canut and another one over there. So it's about two meters in height, a meter in width, this channel between the two. And then after that ventilation shaft, it actually carries on. Here we have the cistern the cistern is two and a half meters in the length two meters in the width and two meters deep and um, about just over six perhaps seven thousand liters but we can pump twenty thousand liters because the whole trench the whole canal is filled with water it's not only here so when this fills up it also backs up into the whole canal um, in end of august the water level inside the cistern was between 10 and 20 centimeters from the bottom but now it is half full so more than a meter of water but backing up quite far this is a wonderful news for us. I'm happy. This is our lifeline in summer. And we should look after it. I will now walk from the cistern to the upper end. There is a whole canal system here. And it even leads to the neighbor and people who lived here 50 years ago tells me that it had water all year round and uh, it fed the gardens that the neighbor had there were no fences so it was just one big farm i find all these things difficult because the rainfall indication is that it didn't change the last 50 years but people tell me those stories so educated guesses this is the big canal the canat and uh, about two meters high a meter wide it's about two meters under the surface here and here the creek with a wall now I don't know I doubt if any water enters from the creek into into the system because we had lots of rain and it didn't change the cistern whatsoever it also doesn't look that the, uh, as if water enters from the top 
It's a solidly built stone wall construction. Some water came in here, which I think wasn't the plan originally. There must have been a wall here. And uh, there is a sluice gate down there. And there's another one here. And another one I have already taken away. So what their roles were, uh, I don't know. Many things to learn. I've contacted the University of Granada to hand me some information. And I'm still waiting for a reply. This is the second shaft and then a diversion was built here to prevent the creek from da running down here and the creek enters over there and that is now my system to get water from the one end of the farm to the other end. It worked well. I have to tweak quite a few things. I uh, realized a lot of water can f flow through a pipe like this. So it comes out here, brought a lot of debris and I will install this pipe here to overflow instead of breaching the berm of the swale it's not really breaching it but it's more an infiltration a leakage from uh, i mean it was not built as a, as a berm a structure to hold the water so it's not compacted whatsoever and then also my favorite thing is to put a lot of organic material inside these swales especially for summertime I would like to keep the moist that has been collected but uh, it's not good if I use this as a diversion swale. In something between a swale and a canal, maybe I can call it a swanel. A swanel. A swale canal. We expect some more rain tomorrow and the day after. And uh, I have removed my system here, disconnected it, and we all wondered what was collected here a lot of sand but at this level it's organic material so i removed all these planks i had in here and with the next water hopefully it will bring some of the sand with it instead of collecting it here i mean this is a few truck loads of sand and uh, I can employ the water to do some work instead of me doing it all. The water brought it here it must just take it further. A lot of sand down there as well. 
the bottom part is organic material and then the swell the sand came later and it was deposited on top of that I will make my way to the other entrance of water flowing water not rain water and that is in the erosion gully this is the Kanat the infiltration system just from the other side of the creek so I think one should rebuild this wall still pretty much intact perhaps just remove all the soil in front of it rebuild that first part we will see a lot of things to be done and here my gabions they created their own new system here first they collected a lot of mulch and leaves and branches and now they collected lots of sand and mud it also bulged but it's still there it's good enough for me and then a few more uh, beaver dams built by nature sorry beaver I'm insulting you for your skill here in the erosion gully I have my own built beaver dams some of them some success some of them not this one actually held a lot of water just some brush under the root of the whole moak then it collected the leaves and the salt and this whole area was filled with water the dam wall standing some water And then the other culvert with these gabions diversion canal till the next rain till the next video goodbye